So when I first heard about Jasper AI, I immediately wrote it off. It's supposed to be like this automated content generation tool that uses AI and machine learning, but it just brought back flashbacks of those really crappy article spinners that people were using years ago. And I don't know, it just comes across as like this black hat, kind of low quality and just not something an honest content creator would use. I mean, I certainly have no interest in just pressing a button to pump out garbage content, even if it's gonna rank for like long tail keywords and bring in traffic. It's just not how I wanna run my business and I'm sure it's not how you wanna run your business either. But I kept hearing people talk about Jasper AI and I kept seeing ads pop up. So I started thinking, I don't know, maybe this tool is worth exploring. So I signed up for a free trial and let me tell you that it's not at all like what you think. So let me show you some quick examples and then I wanna show you some really important things that you should know before signing up for a trial if you wanna check it out. This is gonna save you from wasting the tokens that you get during your trial, which by the way, you can get 10,000 free tokens if you use my affiliate link below. So you can use Jasper in boss mode, which I'll show you more later on in the video. Uh, it's sort of an open-ended interface for writing long form content like blog articles and reviews and things like that. But they also have a ton of these purpose-built templates that are fine-tuned to produce like specifically well-constructed content from your inputs. So for example, the video script hook and introduction, you just put in your video title and an optional tone of voice and it outputs a hook and introduction. And another one I like is if you're a service provider or a brand owner, the feature to benefit template allows you to describe your product or service and it'll create content that lists the benefits of those features, which is really important for marketing. So there are a ton of different templates that you can use to create small chunks of content for specific use cases. And you can just copy and paste the result into wherever you need the text. But what I was most interested in was boss mode, which includes the full document editor. So my assumption was like, you just write in an article title and click generate and boom, you have this magical article that's written for you. But if you try that, you'll start to think those negative reviews are right and Jasper's complete junk. But here's the thing, I guarantee you, most people who leave a negative review saying they've tried it and thought it was junk didn't learn how to communicate with Jasper. And that is probably the most important thing that I wanna emphasize in this video. So if you're like me, when you try new software, you wanna just jump right in and start using it. And you have this expectation that, you know, if it's a good product, it should be 100% intuitive enough to get positive results without having to go read a guide or tutorial. But there's two problems with that approach that I quickly realized when testing Jasper. So the first thing is 99% of the software that we use is binary. It's predictable, it's reliable, it produces the same result every single time. Like, you know, if you click a bookmark in your browser, you know it's gonna bring you to the page that's saved in the bookmark. It's not gonna like accidentally send you to a different page. Well, Jasper is different because it uses artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now, those aren't just buzzwords. Jasper is literally using the cutting edge GPT-3 machine learning API from a company called OpenAI. Now, this is the real deal. This is being used by big companies like IBM and Cisco and Intel, as well as pretty much every single competitor to Jasper. They're all using the same API. And in fact, I even created my own open AI account and played around with the API directly, but more on that later. So the way GPT-3 works is it gained knowledge and learned how to create naturally sounding language by training its 175 billion parameter language model on huge amounts of data. So it trained on a combination of reading 12 years worth of scraped websites, books, Wikipedia, and believe it or not, Reddit. Then you just feed it a prompt, you know, set of instructions, a question, and it will produce 
naturally written language as a response. So you need to really understand the unique behaviors and characteristics of GPT-3 in order to get useful content out of Jasper. Otherwise, you're gonna get a bad impression of this technology. So you can't just expect to type a single sentence and click a button and get a beautifully written full article. So instead of thinking of it as like, you know, you're telling some robot or artificial intelligence over there, you know, to write you an article about whatever, imagine, you know, the robot sitting right at your computer and you're standing over its shoulder guiding along each paragraph as it writes. So you can get really high quality, useful, insightful content written by Jasper as long as you provide specific guidance and information while it's writing. Now, the second problem with jumping right into a trial without learning how to use Jasper is you're probably gonna jump right into Boss Mode's document editor, and it's a blank canvas, but it's not intended for you to work in a linear fashion through the document from top to bottom. And, and that has to do with, again, how GPT-3 works. So like I said, the majority of its knowledge is based on what it's read from the internet and books, but its response is heavily weighted by the prompts that you put in on the left-hand side, as well as the existing content in the document. So you can think of the existing content as things Jasper knows, and an example of the flow and structure that you'd like Jasper to continue writing in. And the left-hand side is how you control the direction of the writing and its objective. So you want to write prompts as if you're literally talking to a human. Like, for example, you know, write an article about how to take the best photos at sunset, or write a paragraph of content about the best camera settings to freeze uh, fast moving subjects in low light. So the more specific you are, the better. And Jasper sees about 2000 to 3000 characters above the cursor every time you click compose. And it uses that for context and information when generating the next chunk of content. So it's very common to temporarily copy and paste data above uh, the cursor for Jasper to see or below the cursor to have Jasper ignore uh, to influence how Jasper produces content. So that definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. And the other thing to realize is that the prompts on the left-hand side should be fine-tuned before each time you have Jasper write more content. So this is gonna keep Jasper on topic and moving in the direction you wanna go. Now, one of the known shortcomings of GPT-3 and as a result, Jasper, which was published in OpenAI's research paper last year is, quote, although the overall quality is high, GPT-3 samples still sometimes repeat themselves semantically at the document level, start to lose coherence over sufficiently long passages, contradict themselves, and occasionally contain non sequitur sentences or paragraphs. So this will happen to you if you use Jasper. It, it will also repeat patterns in the existing document a little bit too much in my opinion. So you need to have realistic expectations and understand that you're gonna have to review and edit the content Jasper creates. And there will be content that you'll have to just delete and rephrase your inputs and try again. All right, so why should you use Jasper AI when pretty much every competitor is using the same API? And you know, if you know a little bit of programming, you can tap into GPT-3 directly. Well, first of all, the API isn't free, so you're gonna have to pay something regardless of how you access it. But second of all, GPT-3 output is customized through fine tuning of uh, the API by the Jasper team. So they've basically taught Jasper highly effective marketing techniques and language, you know, how to write engaging titles and descriptions and content that get clicks, conversions, and sales. So you're getting a tool that takes your ideas 
and expands, reforms, and restructures them into content guided by expert marketing practices. And another feature I didn't even mention is you can use Jasper to translate your existing content into 20 different languages. So if you'd like to sign up, it starts at $24 a month for the starter plan, which will get you access to all of the 50 templates, uh, 50 plus templates, for creating short chunks of purpose-built content, but I'd recommend the boss mode, which will get you the full document editor for creating long-form content, but it also allows you to use recipes to guide your content creation, and it gives you Grammarly built in as well to help structure your sentences even better. So boss mode starts at $49 a month, and it scales up based on how many words you need to use per month, and you'll actually notice that if your words per month increase past something like 50,000. It's actually cheaper to use boss mode anyways, so you get more features for less cost. But you can get 10,000 words for free if you use my affiliate link at onlinebusinesstech.com forward slash Jasper or click the link in the description. And let me know if you have any questions, you know, specifically about Jasper. I've got a subscription myself that I'm using for some niche site projects, so I can probably answer any questions that you have. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.